all the schools that I have been in, including the school where I studied and the different schools where I've been a teacher, I think that Radnor is the place where people show the most respect for each other. I think that there's less clickiness. I think there's more school spirit and town spirit. I'm fortunate to live in the town. My kids were, were educated here, and I do very much feel like part of the community, which is, uh, it's, a real, it's a real plus for, it's a real plus for the job. You wanna feel like part of it. And it does a pretty good job, not all the time, but most of the time. And I think that uh, the families and the students and the faculty and the administration uh, that we have now are working hard to make this a place where people can be comfortable. I always define myself as a teacher of English as opposed to an English teacher. I do like, I do like my subject very much, but the thing about teaching that I like is the opportunity to have kind of critical intellectual discussions um, that will lead us to a greater understanding of something beyond simply a text. Um, I've worked for many years in high tech and in other industries, but there's it's just a completely different level of intellectual engagement. It's possible to achieve in the classroom, trying to challenge students, having them challenge me, having a conversation in certain ways that is enlightening, and maybe, it's, maybe you have to be patient and get to uh, the thing that's really enlightening over time. The intellectual challenge is constant and very refreshing. And at the end of the day, and at the end of the week, I feel really exhausted, but uh, I know that what I've done is important to me. Like he's a very engaging guy, so that will most likely come through on the phone. So you won't feel like you're listening to fresh air in the car and why does your mom insist on listening to NPR? You know, I was a student at this high school, not this high school. What I really like about being here is that I have come back to a place that I, you know, had an early life and I have enjoyed that. And you know, whether that was getting to teach alongside Sharon Reardon, who was my 11th grade the history teacher, but make no mistake, she's still 35. Or just being in this place that I, that I really have come to love. That's a treat for me every day to come and be able to teach here. I hope as a high school teacher, I'm maybe getting to undo some of the things I didn't like about high school. If there were things that I didn't appreciate about high school, that's something I can handle as a teacher, making kids feel welcome and things like that. But I had a professor say to me in ed school, spending your day with kids is a great way to make a career. He's been right. I get to teach with my best friend every day. That's a pretty good thing. I get to teach the world, which is a pretty good thing, help kids understand it, help myself understand it. And uh, I got great colleagues and uh, yeah, I'm a pretty happy guy, thank goodness.